Terrible, terrible. Okay, I'm gonna play more. I guess I'm gonna play a few more then. Start over. So careless. Play c5, d takes, queen b6. f5, bishop g7. That was so bad. Completely winning again. Play bishop g7, e6. d6, knight e7, knight f6. Uh, more. Yeah, I'll play a few more. That's very unfortunate. Knight f6. Um, we played this in our match, actually. Let's play h5. Um, play h4. If he plays h4, I think I've got knight g4, for example, which looks very good. Um, okay, I guess I'll just play bishop g7. Um, okay, I'll pass along. I'm going to play h4. Really only question one. King B8 looks fine. B4 I just take. He plays A3. Um, I th I'll throw an H4 now. Kick the knight away. I can take. I can play Rook C8. B4 really a threat? I don't believe him. So I'm going to play Rook C8. Um, Queen C2. So he really wants to force in B4 here. I'm not really very keen on letting him. Um, I can always take. Takes is interesting. But I think I'll go Queen C7 here. Uh, someone says, well, I'm angry, I'm leading 7-2. Yeah, but I should have won that last game, so of course I'm upset with the last game. Um, so let's take. It's, it, I'm upset because I completely outplayed him and I got to the winning position. That's why I'm upset. I wouldn't be upset otherwise. It's just I, I completely outplayed him with the knight and bishop against the rook, and then I just threw it all away with the one blunder. Um, so, you know, it happens. But anyway, very unfortunate. So, okay. Anyway, the game's still going. Um, so he plays knight d5, so I saw this coming, so I thought I could take it. I can play c4, c3, but I thought even taking was just, um, should be good for me, but maybe it's not so clear. Um, whatever, I'm still gonna take. Okay, so he's gonna take. He takes with a pawn. I figured long-term end games with the two bishops, even though I've got the bad pawn, this should be good for me. Maybe it's not, but we'll find out. I'm gonna play b5, fix the pawn. Uh, so he plays rook c1, so let's play rook c8. Let's trade. Um, I mean, he can try g3. I don't know if I take or not. Um, I really need to activate my pieces, though. I mean, I guess I don't love the idea of taking, um, but let's take anyway. He takes. Okay, I'm gonna bring my king in and play a5 and b4. So I guess we'll see who's quicker here. I feel like my king side pawn, my queen side pawn should be quicker though. So let's play a5 takes. I'm just gonna go b4, of course. I feel like my king side pawn, my queen side pawn should be quicker, but it's not, it's not a guarantee. He goes knight d4. I thought I'd oh no, rook c3 has got bishop b wait, no, wait, what? Bishop b5. If I play b4, rook a1 and rook a6 is an issue, maybe. Maybe not. Um probably it is. If I take, take. Ah, who cares? Let's just go B4. I don't care. I don't care. Um, he'll probably check and go Rook A6, but I just go King B7. I'm up on the clock again, which is good. Um, <clears throat> so he just takes, which is interesting. I did not actually expect that, because I thought I thought this was fairly dangerous. So I'm getting B3, B2 with King A3, King A2. Um, and even if he gets a pawn to h6, he only gets one pass pawn because the pawn at f7 cuts him. So I thought this ha should be winning. Okay, let's go at b2. Just like rook c1 next move. Because um, h5, h6, he can never push a pawn. So, um, okay, let's... Okay, rook c1 looks good. h5, um... Okay, I'll put the bishop on e5. h6 does not cause any issues. And I thought king e2, king b1 should be winning. Um... King e2, let's go king b3. So what, he's going to go h6, I guess? But h6, I just trade. I trade, go king a2, make a queen, and it's winning. So uh, this bishop is a monster, pass b pawn, very good. If rook f3, I think I have rook c2 check and make a queen. Um, so I think I'm just winning here, unless I'm missing. Okay, it does go h6. So takes here, 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 here. So trade, trade, king here, king here, queen, king d3, here, here, here. Uh, wait, takes, takes, king e2, king e2, b1, takes, takes, king d3, c1, king e4, king d2, king f5, king e3. 
h7, king d4, g6 takes, and it's winning. So if I take a king e2, g6 takes his queen here, 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 I win. Okay, I'm just winning. Okay, make a queen, takes. King c1. King e4, king d2, king f5. King e3, g6 takes, wins, h7. It's all over. Game over. King d1. I just keep chilling. I go king e2 next move. Um, uh, I've got to be careful, maybe. Okay, let's go king c1. King e3. Oh, he's got h8. No, but it doesn't work. He loses. He loses by one tempo, I believe. Here. 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 And bishop c1 for the crusher. Game over. Bye-bye. Let's go again. Let's play, um, play e4, knight c3. Bishop c4. Play d3. Uh, let's just go knight g2. Um, knight g3 looks fine. <clears throat> Helio forces, you are so effing good. Um, sometimes, not always, sometimes. Okay, knight g6, I don't... Hmm, this is interesting. Whose knight is going where, I guess, is the question. I guess I'll go knight f5. If he takes, I take queen g4. Um, okay, so he's just castling. I mean, h4 looks very... I'm gonna go for it, you know. I'm 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 gonna go h4 and just go for the crush. I'm gonna go for the bone crusher here with h5, h6. Um, so if he takes, I just take, and then f6 and queen g4. This looks very dubious. Um, I don't know if h4 is a good move, but I want to go for it. Um, so he goes back to e7. So I thought now I had bishop g5 maybe h6 and maybe i just sack i don't or g4 looks a little bit too bold maybe but maybe it's not um g4 bishop e6 though so bishop g5 looks like a uh how do i want to do this yeah let's just play bishop g5 king h8 okay ah so he wants to just play f6 okay logical um so queen h5 does queen h5 f6 knight g7 maybe um, no, but he can play bishop f5, takes f6. So his idea is to take and play f6. So I need to come up with, I'll play g4. Let's just go for it, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm tired, not playing great chess. Let's just go, let's just go all in for the win. Um, now I don't know if I want to go d, let's go to d2. e3 is playable, but I figure I need the bishop in case he plays g6. Um, so that's why I'm going to go bishop d2. Harstar says watching this level makes me feel so stupid. Uh, sorry about that, Harstar. Don't, don't feel bad. Don't feel bad. Knight a5, so he wants to take the bishop, um, but he does, he has given me the, um, now the question is, do I let him take or do I go to b3? That's the first question. Second question is, can I get cheeky with h5, h6? No, he goes to d6. Third question is, do I play bishop d5? Yet, that makes no sense. Um, let's just go bishop b3. Gokul says, friendly reminder to all of the Twitch, it, Twitch issues is the reason why Hikaru continued with today's stream. Indeed, indeed. Um, so it takes, so play like c6. I want to go h5, h6 maybe. I'm probably just going to castle and try to massacre him on the g or the h file. Um, Parser says I don't feel bad. I'm good at hitting balls with cars. I'm good at hitting balls with cars? What? Okay, anyway. Um, don't know what that's supposed to mean exactly, but anyway. Um... Let's just go h5. Um, oh, it's oh, it's Rocket League. Okay, so I mean, I want to castle. I want to just kill him on the h file. The question is, how do I get the knight to h4, or how do I like kill him with queen g4, queen h4? It's not so easy. Bishop e3 is playable. Knight e2, knight g3 looks interesting. H6 right away can't be right. So I think I'm gonna start with rook g1 because now h6 he can't go g6. He loses the pawn. So um, rook g1 makes makes sense as a first start. Um, Goes d5, so he does just give me h6, g6 takes. What is your plan, Mr. Duda? What is your plan? Are you gonna go g6 and just chuck a pawn? Are you gonna take? If he takes queen h5 and castles, must be winning. Um, 
Hikaru, is this a real attack or a value bluff? I think this is a real attack. This feels like a real attack. Um, wow, okay, so we just trade everything. I'm gonna go Queen H5, I'm gonna castle, go Rook G1, Rook H1, or Bishop H6. I'm totally gonna sauce him here. Um, this looks, I mean, he can take a pawn. I don't even care. I'm just, I'm just going for, I'm going for glory here. He might play a4 to sack, but again, I don't really believe in this. Bishop h6, even rook g1, rook g7. Um, I think bishop h6. I mean, there's a free pawn too. So maybe, how do I, do I want to take here and play queen h6? Yeah, let's just grab the pawn here. If takes, I'm going to go rook, uh, he plays a4. So now rook h1 could be played. I'm just going to grab another pawn. I don't believe him. He's just gonna give me all his pawns. Now rook h1 is just game over because queen e7, knight d5. Oh, but he's got rook a4 at the end. Oh, he's got rook a4 at the end. Oops. Um, okay, I have to be a little bit careful here. Uh, maybe queen h4, maybe even just b3 looks bizarre, but I kind of like it, so let's go with b3. Um, because knight d5, he had rook a4, b3 just supports it. Bishop c6 doesn't really concern me. I'm gonna play queen h4, put pressure on the pawn on d4 here. Um, and it's worth noting, like, there's no attack because my king, queen, king side, sorry, or queen side is so safe. So we'll play rook h3 and rook g3. Um, queen e7. Let's play d4. Fix the structure. No d4 to activate his bishop. Um, I'll play knight e2. Just go knight g3. More pressure coming. Knight h5. Um, do I care? Let's go a5. Um, how do I want to win this? And now, okay, I'll play rook h1, go a6, seven, play rook h1. Um, oh shoot, I blunder that, whoops. Oh uh, shoot. Um, here, six. And GG, yo, GG, my friend. Let's go again, we go again, we go again, we go again. Um, let's play e5. Play as a good old English defense. Let's play um, Bishop B4. This is what's been featured in the Norway chess event quite a lot lately. So um, I'm not surprised. Knight E2. Wow, that's an original move. Um, what is Knight E2? Do I go E4 maybe? Yeah, let's play E4. If Knight B5, just like Bishop F5 and Bishop G6 is good. Um, I've also got just D5, I think, and Queen D5, which is very strong too. Maybe I'm wrong though. Evidently, I'm wrong, apparently. Um, so wait, Bishop F5, he's got Knight G3 or something? If I play Queen E7, um, okay, let's think for one second. D5, Knight G3. Take six, Bishop F5. Whatever, let's just go for it. Who cares? Um, A3, ah, uh, A3 is a problem. Ah, uh, it's a big problem. Okay, let's just play Bishop B7. Um, okay, Knight G3, maybe I have H6, H5. It does go knight g3, so I've got some problems here. I think I'm just gonna chuck a pawn. I'm just gonna give up a pawn and play the position. Knight e4, just castles. If knight f6, I just take. Uh, if like bishop d3, I can always just play g6. Um, bishop d3, okay, I'll play g6. Now I'm gonna go h5, h4, because I cut the square and g6 supports h5. Um, he takes, I take. He can play e4 or bishop e4, but now I'm gonna get, now I'm gonna get, I'm gonna try to, do you want bishop? What's he want? Bishop d5 or something? Maybe he wants bishop d5. He's trying to spice it up. Whatever. I'm gonna play h5. Let's 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 go at let's let's go at him. Um, if bishop d5, I think I just go knight e7. Uh, if takes, I just take. If d3, I'm just gonna play like h4, h3. Um, okay. Uh, do I want to play h4? Or bishop g7. Bishop g7 actually makes sense here. I might not even take. I might just. Wow, okay, interesting. Okay, this I feel is wrong though, because now I feel like I can maybe play h4 and f5. Yeah, let's just go h4 and f5. Oh, he played knight f1. I thought he was gonna go knight e2. Ah, he went knight f1. Careless, very, very careless by me. Um, If I take, not so simple. Queen g5 maybe, queen g5 and h3 is playable. Let's just play c5 though, activate the bishop on this diagonal potentially. Um, I, I like the ideas here.
And I'm obviously worse here, but it, maybe it isn't so bad. So I'm gonna go queen d6. Um, if he plays b4, I can just take on e4. If he plays rook b1, I can even just play a5. His pieces are a little bit clumsy. So white's up a pawn here, but it's not exactly what white wants. So I go a5, I mean, he can maybe force in c5 here at the end, but I do like my position. Um, let's go rook e8. White's pieces are passed, so he does play b4 here. Now, I was wondering if I could take everything, or if I could take this. Wait, can I take with a c pawn? Take with a c pawn and take on e4, or take on e4 and go queen f6. Um, let's see. So, I don't really want to. Do I want to trade a pawns? Um, e8. Yeah, let's, let's go for this. Um,. Yeah, let's go for this. BC5, ED3, Rook E8. Rook E8 even looks good, too. I don't believe him. I don't believe Mr. Duda. I don't believe the Mr. Duda here. Um, don't believe him at all. Okay, so he takes with a knight, so I just take back. If BC5, again, D3 is winning, so he has to trade. We trade. Now, the question is, do I go D3 or do not? Yeah, let's go D3. Why not? What happened the last time I didn't believe him? I won the game. That's what happened last time. Uh, wow, okay. Um, I mean, this looks very, very dangerous. Like, uh, but maybe it's not so easy. Not so easy. Okay, whatever. I just take and go queen e5, queen e4. I can't really lose this. Maybe I can't win, but I can't lose. Although d2 is maybe better. d2 and queen d3. Yeah, that was slightly better. This was, I shouldn't have gone for this. Um, but okay, I'll just take. Queen d2, I will just take this pawn. Rook c1, queen e4. I mean, I can't really... Oh, he's got rook b4. Wait, but takes? Okay, he's just trying to play rook b4. Wait, what's the count? I am not up any material here. Okay, so let's just play queen f5 and make a draw. Um, wait, whoa, 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 wait. Um, no, I, I can't really win. Check. Okay. If he wants rook d8, I just trade. Um, play like rook e8. He's gonna try to flag me for sure this game. Uh, so my goal is to not let him. He's gonna play king f2, I assume. No, he takes, okay. No, I played the wrong move. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, crud. Wrong move. Okay. I've got to go king h7. I've got to take. All right, there we go. There we go. Back on track. Another win up to 3226. Let's play d4. Let's take um, the dirty flag that. The dude declined a draw. He declined a draw. I offered him a draw and he declined. He declined the draw. He declined the draw. So no, he declined the draw. I offered him a draw and he declined. So it's his own fault. Um, oh, I just blundered. Whoops, I played the wrong order. Um, oops, okay, let's take. He declined the draw. It's his own fault. He declined the draw. He declined the draw. I offered a draw when I played uh, queen f6 and he declined the draw. So let's play bishop d2. He declined the draw because he thought he could flag me. So um, so yeah, that's 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 why, you know, sorry. But he he declined the draw. I mean, he declined the draw. Well, he by declining, that doesn't mean he actually typed decline, but he made another move. He he made another move is, is what I'm saying. He, he didn't decline the draw. He just didn't accept it. He made another move. Let's play a3. Takes bishop c3. Um, I can play knight d4 here. Bishop d4 actually, um, I don't love bishop d4. I think I'm gonna go queen d2. Oh my gosh, it's not knight c5. Ah. Uh, knight c5, queen f2. 
not what I was hoping for. Um, yeah, let's play queen f2, of course. Okay, bishop a6. So if I trade, he's got to play knight a6. I don't like bishop a6 because now we reach an end game. Um, I don't know who's better here. This is an interesting end game. I love my end games. Let's play king e2. So if b5, I can play b4. Um, I don't want to play rook c1 because then he gets like a knight c5 trick. B4 looks reasonable. He can't take anything. I can play rook c1, I control c5. I'm not too concerned about knight b5 because I can always play for a4 later and he's gonna have issues on the c file. Um, so I like I like b4 here. Okay, let's play rook c1, knight b5, bishop b2, of course. Oh, maybe I could have played a4 too, actually. Ah, uh, no, but a4, b5, a5, knight a6 was a little bit unpleasant. So rook c1 does seem like the correct move. Okay, so king f8. So now do I have a4, a4, b5, bishop d2. He moves the knight. Then I can play a5. Don't love it. I can also play bishop b. Yeah, you know, let's just play bishop b2 because now knight b5, I go a4. But now he's getting pushed back because now I activate the pawns. And like bishop d4 looks strong here to hit the pawn. If b5, I just go bishop b6 to win the knight on c7. Um, so he goes rook b8. So now b5 looks strong. Fix the pawn. Put a million, um, not a million, put a, put a ton of pressure on the pawn on b6. And now I should be able to just chill my way to victory. Uh, 91, knight d3. Knight g5 doesn't make sense. Knight b7 is never playable. So let's, um, how do I reroute the knight? I guess I'll go 91, knight d3, knight b4. Um, I just have to make sure he can't get the king to b7. That's the main thing. Plays knight a8, which is a fairly tragic move to have to play here. Um, I guess I'll play knight c1. Maybe knight b3? Okay, so he's trying to put his knight on a5. Uh, he's going to get his knight to a5, which is where he needs his knight. Um, okay, I can't go g4. Bishop c3. Um, then rook b. Ah, I misplayed this. Okay, let's play. Hmm. Okay, I should just. Um, let's just go bishop c3. I'm going to play g3 and bishop d2. Maybe knight b2. Okay, he plays knight c5. Let's trade. He takes... I wasn't sure what's going on in this endgame. We reach a 2v2. Okay. Um, I think bishop e1 and a5, b6 is very dangerous here. Let's go a5. If d3, I think king e3. Okay, um, b6, of course. Knight d5. I think I can play g3, maybe. Oh, I've got b7 and a6, of course. b7 and a6 is just winning. So he has to go knight a6. Now I can play rook d1. I'm going to make him fix his pawns too. Um, so now both our sets of pawns are fixed. So it's a question of who gets the better piece play. Um, I think I can go king d4 and king c3. Thank you, Chuki, for the tier 1 sub. I'm going to go bishop f2 next move. Or rook a4, actually. Rook a4 looks strong too. Okay, I guess rook a4... Rook b8, I guess, or, or rook c8, I'm going to go rook b1. Very, very tricky position to play here for both sides. f5, I thought, okay, I'll take. And play bishop f2, hit the rook. Although I gave him, he's going to get e5, e4, so. But I've got rook b1, rook b5, so this looks interesting. So let's take, let's make a check. Let's go rook a1. Um, or wait, bishop g3 maybe? Yeah, bishop g3, win the pawn on e5, and there should be game over. If e4, I just take. I'm too fast with a6, a7. Um, can't I just take? Oh, is he getting tricky here? Um, wait a second. Okay, let's think. Just can d2. Take. Check king d1. Takes. And king d1, game over. He meant rook c2, but it's losing. I think it's losing anyway. Um, because after rook c2, king d1, d2, I go rook b1. And I'm threatening to queen. He has to go check, takes, takes. And a6, a7 is super fast here. If he goes king d5, I go a6. If king c6, bishop e5 wins as well. Um, rook b8, a6, a7 wins. 
Everything wins here. So rook c2 actually doesn't do anything. It's still losing for... Uh, or, yeah, and if rook f8, I just take the pawn so he's got no checkmate. Um, so king d1, yeah, it's just it's just losing. Um, or maybe no, maybe a rook b8 actually. Rook b8, a6, rook a2. And black is still in the game. Um, but it's very, very tricky to play at any rate. He didn't have much time, and so... Um, so yeah, so all right, you guys. So on that note, I think I am going to um, I'm going to uh, call it a night, you guys. But once again, I would like to thank everybody. Thank the mods, especially. Uh, I'd like to thank Chess Bay and all the other mods. Also, thanks Chess Bay for the 20 gifted subs. Thanks to all you guys who hung around um, from Arena Kings to the uh, the Twitch errors. The Twitch errors resulted in me playing this long match against Jan Kristoff. Um, so thanks to uh, thanks to all you guys for hanging around. All the gifted subs, all the resubs. Um, all the follows. Thank you guys. I will be back tomorrow at um, at 11 a.m.